Hello everyone, I'm Astro Austin Eleven, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. <laughs> there we go. Last time we, we made our way here to the neighbor province, and we're continuing our search for Zelda, the goddess. And we ended up here in this area at the Temple of Time. And now we're continuing to explore this area, searching for Zelda, and making our way off to the next temple's location in the game. Which is honestly, personally, one of my more favorite temples in this game. But, let's take out the Bokoblin real quick, because he can give us something pretty nice. Okay, never mind, he won't give us anything nice, because he is stubborn, and he is useless. Completely, and utterly useless. Because, I mean, normally we'd get ourselves some pretty good material or something from the Bokoblins, but, of course, they just decide not to cooperate with us today, so. Looks like the Bokoblins are not cooperating with us today, so that's fun. But you want to take a bomb all the way up here to the very top of this, I want to say like half tree. It's literally like a half tree, and I did not mean to do that. I meant to drop the bomb in there. My bad. I'm sorry, guys. I haven't played this game in a minute. It's been at least like, um, I want to say at least a few days or longer since the last episode. So yeah, I don't play, I don't play this game much on my own time off camera only because I don't have a reason to. I really don't because I don't have any personal files or really any files where I'm currently playing through the game for my own personal fun and enjoyment because well that playthrough kind of already finished uh so yeah it's really just this file okay duck above no 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 really man okay you suck Ugh. you suck duck above you know what screw it i don't care if we're fun really man okay you know what that's it that's it fine i was just about to cut him you know fine game you want to play this game already a little two minutes into the video fine Deku Baba, out of my face. And, come on. No. No. Okay. We're able to hit the switch still without having to reset the beetle, which is very nice. So, I didn't have to reset the beetle at all and send him back, send the beetle back in to hit the switch. We were able to do it all in one go. Very nice. But, now, to make our way over here. And this is, I want to... I like, to, I like to think that this is like the second section of this mini Temple of Time area, but let's go ahead and reflect that back in, oh my, just every time I parry an Octorok in this game, guys, I swear to god, parrying the Octorok is so satisfying, like, parrying like this against the Octoroks, so satisfying, it's just, it's so nice. Now, let's go ahead and send the bomb over here, as we also want to take care of these rocks that are all the way up here, and don't blow up this one. Love the one that's over here because it is going to hold, yes, another switch, or I believe it's like a time shift crystal. Yeah, time shift crystal. Okay, yeah. there we go. I got the name right this time, guys. I got the name right because this time, well, again, I'm just gonna remind you guys, it's been a minute since I have really been playing this game very much, so it's been a minute since I have played this game, so. Give me a break if I can't remember the name of objects or names of things. But yes, these are time shift crystals. Now we're taking the minecart and everything back in time. And now, yeah, there's this robot guy where he's in danger. Help! Alright, he doesn't have anything more to say. What in the... Did you guys see that? I'm assuming you guys saw that too, right? That was very confusing and very odd. Okay, buckaroo. Die! There we go. Oh, so, so nice. But now let's speak back to the robot and let him know that he's safe now. That was scary. Thanks for helping me. The Temple of Time. Within it is the sacred gate of time made by the goddess. It's my job to patrol outside the temple. If you want to reach the gate of time, you'll need to pass through that door. Huh? You need another way in? Well, the linear mining facility and the Temple of Time are connected underground. The linear mining facility is right here. That seems it's right there. This map, it looks inaccurate. I'm going to fix it for you. Alright, yeah, now the robot is going to fix it to where there's sand all over the place on the map, and yeah, now, yes, we can see a bunch of secret paths that we can see before. So, you know, there are a bunch of secret paths in the sand that we can use to make our traverse the, the area to linear money facility. Linear money facility is just ahead. Good luck! Alright, thanks a lot, robot. Thanks. I appreciate it, man. But, a report, Master Link. The map you possess corresponds to the actual terrain of this area with, an, with only 35% accuracy. The robot you met earlier modified your map to show past terrain that is now submerged below the sink sand. Yeah, Fi, I kinda got that. I think I know how this game works. I'm not dumb. Whatever, Fi is assigned to be an idiot as per usual. <laughs> and just say things where we don't need her input because we really just don't. We know that there were secret paths there because, well, we saw when he changed the map for us. 
but now it is time to continue our journey along. And as you can see up there, there's a goddess cube, which I absolutely want to get. So let's go ahead, hop in the minecart, and charge our Skyward Strike so that it is fully charged. And there we go, yep. Using it, we can get ourselves this goddess cube. Pretty sweet, if you ask me. But, now, we are going to be continuing and actually making our way off to the area where we'll be using the hidden paths to make our way off to the near mining facility. Because, of course, that is, I want to say the third temple in the game. Yeah, that is the third temple in the game up to this point. So it's pretty exciting, if you ask me. Temple of the game, and where we'll be generally exploring the final region in the game. As Lanayru is the te technically, quote-unquote, the final region. Besides this, there really aren't really any other regions, so yeah. As I can tell, yes, this is a hidden path right here. As we're running through it. Master Link, I have information to report. I can confirm that you will not be consumed by the sink sand in this current position. I suggest verifying your location on the map. Readings indicate that there is a submerged path beneath the sink sand. It is possible to walk a long route above this path without submerging completely into the sink sand. Simulations suggest that placing beacons to mark a safe route along these paths before proceeding would significantly reduce risk. I recommend placing multiple beacons. Yes, now, we now, we now, this is the point in the game where we don't have just one beacon, but now we can utilize friggin' five beacons at a time. So pretty stinking nice if you ask me. See, now we can utilize five freaking beacons. Oh, oh, so nice. So good. But yeah, like we'll still walk kind of slowly through the sink sand, just to let you know that it's still sink, sink sand. But it's not like sink sand from before, where we we'll just literally sink into it and Link will fall, presumably, into his death. But where, yeah, we'll be able to run easily through it and not worry about sinking down. But let's place a bomb here, and there is a time shift crystal hidden behind these rocks here. And there you go. And I didn't take any damage. Sweet. All right. And this will open up this little terminal thing here. And this will be needed for different elements found throughout this area. So we can actually continue and we'll open up the linear mining facility. And the first one's going to be located right over here. The next one's located right over here. And then the last one is located right over here. Now I'm p p pinning them down right now. Just so we have them pinned down. So we have them available to us. So that we know where to go. But I'm gonna go and tug this bird statue just so that we have it activated for now. And yes, that's like claw shot. That's gonna be for later on in the game. So we can get that chest. A lot of stuff in each region of the game we're gonna be seeing for later on. But for now, let's hit this time shift crystal and bring this area back to its past roots. And yeah, here we go. And yeah, there are some goblins over here and out of my face. No, 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 no. Okay, buddy. No! Why? Really, man? Okay, you suck. Come on. Attack me, buddy. I dare you! Die, buddy. You deserve that, honestly. And, luckily for us, even if we lose HP, we can easily heal up. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. I, I mean, I'd say that's pretty nice. I don't know about you guys, but I'd say that's pretty dang nice. But try and pop it in. And, yeah, it's not working. Okay, this is... I'm in a little bit of a predicament here, guys. Oh, shoot. Um, I'm actually in a little bit of a predicament here, guys. Um, I don't know what exactly- Oh, never mind. Yeah, I forget. You don't take fall damage. I could've just sunk the 16. Wow. Cool stuff, man. Well, let's not talk to the robot. You are not in my memory banks. This is the power generator for the mechanism that opens the entrance to the linear mining facility. But it won't budge until you activate the remote power nodes and set those three dials to access them correctly. Alright. Readings indicate the materials you use to construct the generator are also present in, the, in this area. You can now use your dousing ability to locate them. And yeah, we don't need to use the beacons. Now we can use your dousing, but I know exactly where they are, guys, because I literally pinpointed them, pinpointed them down. I already showed them to you guys, because again, I've played through this game before, so it's not like I'm new. It's not like I don't know what I'm doing here. I know this game very well, so yeah, I know the areas in this game. But go ahead and plop a bomb down right there, and we should be able to have the bomb explode there. And there you go. Now the way is open, so now we can explore this area and get ourselves our first dial down. Our first dial rather activated. And um, if I seem to recall, there was also a bird in the sky. Yep, there he is. There's the little butthole that plans to try and, and attempt to kill me. 
but who is going to fail because I can use my beal or something to wreck him. But here's the first tile. Now, this one is very, very easy, as you can tell. It was the easiest one out of them all because all it is is simply stabbing your sword in and boom, there you go. That's how all these dials will work. But the thing is, with these dials, this was the easiest one because we straight up just found it. It was behind a wall and that was it. It was the simplest one, and that was the first one we have. The second one is where I'm going to be going, and it's the fire one. Then we're going to have an electricity one. So, at least I do believe the fire one's going to be the next one that I'm heading to. I think so, at least. Don't quote me on that. But, besides that, with these dials, the other two are going to contain puzzles, where we need to traverse the areas and journey explore all around, activate the dials that way, and there are going to be various puzzles that we need to complete in order to make it right to the dial in the first place. So it's going to be a bit trickier than the last one. That one was literally a gimme. That dial was a very easy one. But let's blow up this now. And... Uh, bam There you go. Now we can make our way into this one and activate the second dial. So yeah, pretty freaking nice if you ask me. Now, let's go ahead and have this dude aggro on us because honestly, I want him to aggro on me. I want him to aggro on me oh my god okay i almost fell into the sink sand sorry if the audio got a little bit loud there guys i do apologize for that but holy crap that was kind of scary only because i was not expecting that to be completely honest guys i just was not expecting that but pop a bomb right there and you know what just to make it so that i don't potentially um get hit by the explosion there you go another time shift crystal for us to use now the most interesting part here is that well this is going to be interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's go ahead, hit this, and yes, it's going to cause everything to sink down, and <laughs> what do you know, we're right here where... Now, when this thing is electing itself, you want to hit it with your sword. The reason why is that... Oh god, no, 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 Bacoblin. Get your butt out of here. Okay. Really, man? Did you have to do that? Alright, the thing is literally trying to kill me actively, but there you go. What we want to do is smack the ball in, as you saw it used to be an enemy, and that's because it was in the present. In the present, these guys are like worm-like enemies that will roll at you and electrocute you, but in the past, they're just all enemies, and I guess it, it makes me think of evolution, honestly. <laughs> like, them going from balls rolling around to them literally rolling at you being full-on worms. It reminds me of an evolution of Pokemon. Honestly, it just makes me think of, like, evolution of Pokemon, where it was in the past, and now going to the present, it yeah, it's evolution, so yeah, pretty sweet. But this is actually the electricity one, so the final one we'll be doing is going to be the fire one. And then that will be it, so yeah, as you can tell, it's showing the map of this area, because we are not, um, in the overall map. But let's go and open up this. Honestly, this is going to contain 20 rupees, or 5 rupees, my bad, I thought wrong. Um, but right. all the rupees I can get are going to be helpful, because I plan to take on... Plenty of minigames in the future of this series. Take on minigames, get pieces of art, because there are plenty to do in the game. So, yeah, we're, we're going to be seeing a lot of the linear region in the future, but that is another one down. The next one is going to be located right over here. So, let's go ahead and mark down a path of where we can head. Now, where we can head is going to be, um, I want to say, like this area i want to say nope never mind i'm an idiot don't take my word for that guys don't take my word for that apparently i was completely off but you just want to make your way all along here and yup here is a safe path for us to take and never mind it is actually completely useless but okay now go and just place beacons so that we can go ahead and follow them so yeah we should be set now to traverse our way along and luckily i thought i ran out, i honestly i thought i ran out of stamina there and like was gonna start sluggish sluggishly walking but fortunately for me we did not lose stamina we're now going to remove these two beacons because we don't need them anymore because we know where to go but what i do want to do is take this guy out so that he is done and doesn't bother me so yeah thank you buddy and also if the audio does sound better guys if the audio does sound more clear and louder on my part and just more defined then that is because it is because uh from the last video i made on infinite craft i made a more recent video on infinite craft i plan on uploading it soon but that video uh yeah it literally it was where i tried to find gta i'll upload that at some point but i made the video on infinite craft and 
I had a different kind of setup where my laptop camera was showing the TV and I was closer to the mic. So I was closer to the mic so that allowed for better audio. And right now I'm at, I am sitting closer to my mic now. I have a, honestly, I, I've improved myself even more than before. So yeah, now it's even better than before. So yeah, pretty dang nice. And oh my god, Choo Choo, don't you dare do that to me. Jeez, but okay. Worm, please. Please, worm, notice me. I will freaking hit you with my beetle. Oh, bruh. Bro, what are you doing? Wait. Wait. Link, wait. What are you doing, man? Link, what are you doing, man? No, no. Run back up. Okay. Get your hiney back over here. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. I almost sunk into the sand, guys, because I was trying to focus on killing the dude, getting him out of my face, but... Luckily, don't gotta worry about that too much because we got him down. But here is definitely an interesting um, one. And wait, is it not gonna blow it up? Okay. It was moving on the sink sand, but thankfully it was moving slow enough to where it still blew it up to reveal the time crystal. So that's sweet. That's how dandy, man. That's awesome. But okay, buddy. I don't know what the frick you're planning here. I really don't. Like, what is your plan, man? What is your stinking plan? I really don't understand you right now. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh god, okay. Go, 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 run, 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 Okay. All we want to do, guys, is run onto it because, yes, we want to res bad boy all along, and I, of course, want to change things to the past because that will allow us to, well, explore the rest of this area. And for some reason, there's a yellow choo here. I don't know why, but there's one up here. It's going to quickly take both ones out. Perfect. Now from this chest, I don't know what it holds. What does it hold? Oh. I mean, I'll take some Eldenor. I mean, I will take it all day, thank you very much. Now, let's push this, putting a nice shortcut for us. And now, all I want to do is hit this. Now, this is a very interesting section. Because, actually, no, it's not that interesting. It's a very easy section, as long as you know what you're doing. Because if you don't, then it's going to be a struggle bus. Either way, though, all we want to do is... Damn it. Okay, crap. I screwed up. I screwed up. Yep, I screwed up. Alright. Bam. Alright. All you want to do, guys, is move the beetle all the way along. Come on, come on. Okay, perfect. Now, with the beetle, you want to move it up to a higher section, so like this. So that way, if your beetle does run out of energy, if it stops moving, and if your beetle just all of a sudden decides to stop working and stop going forward, then you can simply have it be above a platform so it doesn't fall to the abyss, so you don't have to run all the way back and repeat this process, because that would be wasting a lot of time, but instead, have it be above this so that way it falls onto this, if your beetle does it, uh, die out unintentionally. And, there you go. Simple as that, the thing is in there, and the final dial shall be activated. And we are ready, guys. Already, as you can tell, we are pretty much set for the next level of the game. Fully landed in running facility, we're pretty much set. Because we got really nothing else to really focus on. Besides, well, the dials and preparing for the next temple, so yeah, but okay. Uh, the ore I'll take, but the rupee is kind of useless, I'm not going to lie. Or kind of useless, and I just realized I almost left without activating the dial. That would have been a very bad decision. That would have been very bad. Because I would have had to redo this whole thing and then cut it out. Yikes. I mean, it wouldn't have been that bad for editing. I mean, I know how to edit videos. I consider myself pretty good at video editing because I know how to do edits now. Because I mean, I've been, I've been working. On Trust me, guys. Lately, I've been working on it, and I've done some pretty good edits. So yeah. But Master Link, all three remote power nodes have been activated. Please make your way to the power generator in front of the linear mining facility. All right, fine. Well, we shall do just that. That'll be well right now because we got nothing else waiting for us. We got nothing else going on right now. So all we got to do is make our way up to the linear mining facility. And prepare for what is up ahead. Prepare for the next temple of the game. And oh no 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 no! Oh, oh you sh son of a mom! That's it. I know I was out of stamina, guys. I know I was out of stamina, but you know what? You mess with me, you pay for your sins. Okay, buddy. And what in the? He was like gliding along the ground. No, buddy. That is what you get. You mess with me, you get the hands. You get the sword and the shield and the hero who wields it. That's what you get, buddy. You wanna mess with me? That's what you get. 
But alright, 5 rupees, I'll take it. Nothing too huge or major, but I, I'll take it nonetheless. Either way, that's going to open up a shortcut for us in this region, in this area. It's time to open up a shortcut, which can be opened right over here where there's a lever. So yeah, pretty nice, but there you go. Lever pulled, doors opened. Very nice, and now we can easily make our way through here, and yeah, it's a shortcut. Nice, sweet, cool. Now, how do we want to make our way back? Well, just make our way back along, and all we want to do is simply just make our way back along, and we shall be set. So yeah, we'll be set, guys. All we gotta do now is continue making our way along, and yeah, just make our way all the way back to the power generator so that then we can activate all the nodes and get the temple opened up but there you go sweet and my capture card forward is still moving which i do not like because it is very just unsettling because i keep on um accidentally moving my capture card cable it keeps on just moving and i don't appreciate it one bit wait no no tumbleweed oh Bro, I can actually, bro. Okay, guys, I don't. I have one tumbleweed. In order to get basically all the item upgrades and everything in the game, and upgrade everything, which is because this playthrough I'm gonna be upgrading everything. Now, all the item upgrades are not needed. I will not be upgrading this. Uh, well, I will be getting the small bomb bag upgrades and all that. But for any small item upgrades like the seed satchel and stuff, I don't plan it. Like the slingshot will get upgraded to its ammo, but. I mean, actually, I will be doing that upgrade because I'll need to for 100% completion of this playthrough, but other than that, really, it's just, like, uh, there's not much to do, honestly, and wait, Tumbleweed, please, yes, okay, we got Tumbleweed, sweet, and yes, for those of you who may be wondering, well, I'm just gonna show it off real quick, just show it off now, this is a method I use in my personal playthroughs, now, when I personally play through the game, when I 100% this game, a strategy I use to grind tumbleweeds, to grind anything very fast, I'll show off some ways to grind, and if you're in the region, you can exit natural areas to re to get bee hives and the uh, um, honey again and again, and you can grind that out by entering and exiting the area, it'll reset, but to grind tumbleweed, all you want to do is enter this. Now, entering this area, just exit, hold out your net, swing it around so that, that way, yes, you get a tumbleweed. Now, every time, if, don't run, because, just so you know, if you sprint like this, you will crush the tumbleweed. If you run like this and run against the tumbleweed, you will break it. So don't do that, because you will not be able to get the tumbleweed if you run over it. Just run slow. If you walk slowly like this, you will not crush the tumbleweed. Now, if you walk around these areas constantly, like that, if you enter that area right over there, and then exit right back out, and walk by here, a tumbleweed will spawn likely over here and start rolling down here, or it'll spawn right over there and start rolling this way, as it just was for me. And all you want to do is hold out your net, constantly do this, and you'll be able to get yourself a ton of tumbleweed. Constantly using that strategy, and doing that, you'll get yourself the weed. As you can tell, literally I ran by, even just that location, you constantly run by this location, I believe. If you have your camera angled in a certain way, then a tumbleweed will spawn like it has been. I don't even know at this point, honestly, but... Yeah, see, even just this, guys. Like, even this right here, you don't even have to enter and exit the area to have it reload. All you gotta do... It just walk by this area, just reset the camera angle over, and there you go. A tumbleweed shall spawn. Literally, this- uh, wait, 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 okay, I was afraid I wasn't gonna get a tumbleweed, but as you can tell, I already have seven, guys. Already, I have seven. Now, I know I'm showing this farming method off right now, and maybe I shouldn't be, I don't know, but all I do know is this method is very handy, and I love it, because it is very useful, and wait, tumbleweed, wait! No, oh, you've got to be kidding me. I mean, at least I'm full HP now. But from getting that hard, but okay. Walk our way back on over. Come on. Like, literally, I'm pretty sure I just need one more tumbleweed. Literally throughout the entire game, guys, I just need one more. Literally throughout the entire game to upgrade every item. To upgrade everything in the game, including the bow. Because we get the bow later on. I know I'm spoiling it already, but to get every item upgraded in the game, you need a tumbleweed. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Maybe it's 13 or something, or maybe 10 or something, but I'm pretty certain that for throughout the entirety, for this entire game, all you need is a tumbleweed in order to do all the item upgrades, and then that's it, and then you are set. So yeah, already we have enough tumbleweed to upgrade everything in the game, so pretty sweet if you ask me. Honestly, awesome. It's very nice. Eight tumbleweeds is all you need for every item upgrade, but let's go ahead, remove these beacons, because we don't need them, and now... 
Let's activate the power generator and get this going. So water was over here. Water was there. Fire was all the way over here. And there you go. And electricity was all the way pointed north. And just like that, all dolls are pushed in and everything is set. So there you go. Now it's time to open up the next temple of the game, guys. So yeah, it's as simple as that. As simple as that. Activating the dials, twisting it around, and exploring this region. Literally, it's really fast. Like, it's not that hard to do it. It's very easy, very simple. You can do it very quickly. But, just like that, we are ready, everyone. Ready to take on the very next temple of the game. Thank you all so much for watching this one. Oh, the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Be sure to leave a like down if you did enjoy. Click that subscribe bell if you are newer. One more kind of like this on the channel. Cl click on the bell and click on all so that you're notified whenever I post a video. So it's anime content. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you all next time as we take on the next temple of the game. And get ready, everyone, for the third temple in the game. The Lanayru Mining Facility. Again, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next time as we take on this area. And, well, take on the third temple within the game. I'll see you all then on Skyward Sword HD.